For my first couture collection in 2005 I felt a little nervous, maybe because this was such a new undertaking, and one where I knew many people were puzzled by my decision to enter into it. But enter into it he did, and what followed were breathtaking contemporary collections that expressed his creativity through sophisticated silhouettes, luxury fabrics and skilled craftsmanship that still stayed true to the Armani woman. Couture has always been given creative liberty, which is also an incentive for a designer. Absolute freedom in the cuts, in the choice of materials, embroideries, finishes, he adds. Armani Privé is, however, still an Armani collection, so you will see that it is elegant and refined in terms of its aesthetic. Armani debuted his first collection in Paris, the home of haute couture, with gowns in bias-cut cady fabrics and delicate gossamer chiffon encrusted with crystal, jet and pearl embroidery. The fruit of painstaking, meticulous needlework created in the couture atelier in the halls of the historic building of Via Borgognuovo 11 in Milan, no collection that followed was ever the same. My aesthetic has certainly evolved over the years, it has taken on more decisive and eccentric elements, it has softened too, in a general sense. For me, the constant is always a balance of simplification with style, he says. So, let's check it. Armani Haute Couture Fall Winter 2022 The dark blue sequins glimmered like you might imagine the Arctic Ocean under moonlight. The beaded sweaters and cardigans, marvels of a gossamer delicacy, scintillated as they rippled. It was a superb and mesmerizing privé collection from Giorgio Armani, lavishly embellished, full of sinuous shapes and haute sophistication. A Hollywood stylist might simply call it a bonanza. Realism was the first word in Armani's press notes, which went on to express a need to give space to sparkle and frivolity. The way it was in the 1920s, he name-checked Polish painter Tamara de Lempica, praising her rebellious elegance. Legions of designers have been predicting a roaring 20s post-pandemic, and the packed restaurants, jammed social calendar and gridlock traffic in Paris certainly support that idea, even as coronavirus cases are spiraling again in France. But for the pure escapism that good fashion can offer, this haute couture show swept away troubles with its sleek shapes, gleaming surfaces, rich colors and patterns that registered as either Art Deco or Eastern inspired. Black velvet has surfaced in almost every fall 2022 couture collection, and Armani carved his into strapless columns enlivened with a splash of color or a shapely skirt suit. The evening gowns were slyly sexy, especially those with athletic tank-style straps and those carved out in the back. During fall 2022, Armani experimented with bigger volumes, looping netting into cloud-like capes or teacup-shaped skirts, or adding a crinkled bustle around the hips. He added a pocket to the latter flourish, but you felt like his heart was elsewhere. Cue the excellent tailoring, focused on his small shouldered, cardigan styles that sometimes stretched almost to the knee, or sprouted shirt tails for a sporty touch, and offering another surface to trim in crystals. Indeed, even the bridal look was pinned on pants, plus a sweater and vest delicately bedazzled. Armani knows how to read a room, and it roared with approval.
As a fashion connoisseur, I love it when a couturier breaks the rules and reinterprets the ordinary with a fresh approach. This story reveals the bold chromatic statements and visual parables that Giorgio Armani presents in his latest Armani Privé Haute Couture Fall Winter 2023 collection. With an invitation written in glossy red ink as an intriguing prelude, Armani redefines the narrative of couture fashion, rebelling against the sober simplicity to which the season has so far adhered. The Armani Privé 2023 collection is not just a sartorial narrative, it is an amaranthine tale of roses and lacquer boxes, whispering of a distant journey to the east. Many of the models walk the catwalk in tailored silk trousers, their steps measured across the checkered catwalk, a mottled melange of brocade jackets and richly embroidered beaded shirts, adorning their images. Defying the trend for muted glamour, Armani, the maestro of elegance, created a symphony of shimmering fabrics and heavy jewellery. His penchant for crystals and intricate beading was a runway highlight. Dazzling trousers stole the show, promising an easy transition to evening gowns. There were no new tailoring concepts on the catwalk, but Armani's dovetail coat with subtly accentuated sleeve cuffs stayed on point, creating an appealingly slim silhouette. But the protagonist of this theatrical narrative was the rose. Appearing as a random decoration on the fabric, it gradually became the main motif of the collection. Perhaps, this is a slight allusion to Chanel's previous camellia-centric collection. Armani's floral saga unfolded in a peculiar way. 3D printed roses were scattered across fluttering evening gowns, or arranged on shoulders. The generous use of black and gold, complemented by embroidery in the shape of pagodas, evoked images of Far Eastern lacquered boxes. As the press release eloquently put it, the collection represents a journey from west to east through elongated silhouettes alluding to other worlds and cultures. Shiny lacquered roses were embossed on surfaces in a pattern of graphic black with gold accents. The catwalk featured delicate jackets, long skirts, trousers and dresses that emphasized the silhouette, complemented by sleek and high heels. And as part of this journey from east to west, hints of other cultures and worlds came to life in the petals and buds that, together with the rhythmic geometry and lines of light, formed a pattern that only the main woman, whom the designer presented as one who deliberately seduces, could create. And she does it shyly but persistently, like that, red rose.
Armani Haute Couture Spring Summer 2024, it was only a decade into Giorgio Armani's existence, when the constraints of how women could, and should, dress were lifted. The grand courtiers of his time quelled sartorial restrictions placed on females through rigid and austere silhouettes, in turn, ushering in an era of liberation. One can only imagine the changes Mr. Armani has seen, and also had a hand in, over his 89 years. Yet, perhaps none more influential than the fashion revolution he witnessed growing up in the city of Piacenza in northern Italy. With Mr. Armani at the precipice of two significant milestones, his upcoming 90th birthday in July, and the 20th anniversary of his haute couture line, Armani Privé, in 2025, one would not blame him for using the platform his vast empire has allowed him to offer a retrospective on the radical evolution of the past, and the precariousness of now. That's not, however, Mr. Armani's modus operandi. Who has time for reflection when he's busy plowing ahead? But amongst the legions of collections he develops each calendar year, the revered veteran has found a moment of reprieve. Not of pause, but of play. The latter was the crux of the spring-summer 2024 haute couture season. Mr. Armani explored the notion of playfulness, the role frivolity, youthfulness and humor have in craftsmanship, and how couture as an art form can be performed. The collection, a parade of 92 ensembles, was titled Haute Couture en Jeu. Speaking to press before the show, Mr. Armani explained his rationale. On one hand, it means putting couture into play, while on the other it can be translated into couture is having fun. Either way, it was time for me to be courageous, to take risks, and to probably be a little less Armani. Given his reputation as fashion's fortune teller, perhaps Mr. Armani knew this chance card would reap. The Armani Privé woman has this to be thankful for. In getting out of his comfort zone, Mr. Armani proved his vocation was one of pleasure. Still recognizably Armani, silhouettes buoyed from delicate daywear defined by sequin mesh long sleeves layered under lace blouses, capes embroidered with eastern influences, and light as air trousers, to compelling evening wear underpinned by sensuality. A soft palette influenced the ethereal state of the collection. This is a dream wardrobe realized in one singular floating procession. A tender nod to the progression of his doctrine and the women who shaped it. New tricks for advanced players. <laughs>